thank you guys. Uh, thank you for being on. Um, yeah, first, you know, uh, Kathy McAdam, I want to send our condolences to her and her family. She's one of our best fans and one of the nicest ladies that I've ever met. And, uh, you know, she, she will be missed here at the rack. I saw her after every game. I saw her before every game. Just a, just a wonderful person. So uh, condolences again to her family. I want to congratulate Iowa. I knew this game would be, uh, you know, a really difficult game. Um, they're well coached. They're ranked for a reason. Um, you know, Garza was, you know, a problem watching film. He goes nine for 11, does a really good job. Uh, but our guys play hard and, and, you know, did a really good job too. We came up one possession short um, against a really good, really good opponent. But that is life in a league like this that we play in. And uh, uh, we'll keep getting better. We get some good news with Caleb McConnell returning. He'll, he'll be, uh, you know, a really good addition. Um, Got to get him back into, you know, game shape. Uh, but we played really hard. We had chances. Um, they were one possession again better. Thanks, Coach. We'll open up with questions from Jerry and then Bobby. Steve, when you spoke with us Thursday, you, you predicted that the biggest difference and the biggest thing in the game would be the free throw line. I was 18 to 23. You're 4 of 12. What do you think of how that played out? Well, I mean, it was one of our huge keys, you know, to win win the free throw line battle. Uh, you know, obviously we didn't. Um, they do a lot of things well, um, too. They they shoot threes. They they make free throws. Um, they offensive rebound. So we we did a lot of good things in a lot of different areas, but we certainly um, you know certainly didn't win the battle of the free throw line, and 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 that was a that was a big key to us, um, you know, going into the game. Steve, you held them well under their average. Um, were you happy with the defense, and, and did everything kind of play out like you drew it up? Well, I mean, never in a game like that is everything you draw up uh, plays out that way. But, um, you know, they averaged 95 points and, and, you know, to hold them 20 points on 18 points under their average certainly means our guys really uh, did a good job on the defensive end uh, of the floor. But, but again, you know, uh, one possession short, um, our offense could have got that possession, our defense, but um, we play hard. I like my team a ton. These guys are these guys are good. They're resilient. They're tough. Um, and again, you played a really good, you know, basketball team. And I love Coach McCaffrey. I think he's one of the best coaches around. And um, you know, Garza, Bohannon, these guys have been around, and 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 they they got one more possession than us. They're tough and they're well coached. Um, and we have to head to you know play Michigan State. So we got to move on quickly from this. Well, Brian Fonseca and then Steve Pelletti. Uh, yeah, Steve, uh, you guys forced them to 15 turnovers. Uh, they're the most significant way the season. What was key there? And uh, just how did you find so much success in that, in that area? Well, I mean, they're, they're, again, they're, they're a team. They, they do so many things well offensively, and they, they don't turn the ball over. So, you know, I, I thought our guys were locked in. You know, I thought we – some some tough shots, you know, that they had to take. We tracked down some, you know, balls that uh, were scouting report, you know, steals. Uh, but, you know, again – they're a really good basketball team. We're a really good basketball team, and we can defend. Um, and it just shows you can hold the team 20 points under their average. And uh, um, But, uh, again, they were one possession better. Hey, Steve, a two-parter for you. First, could you just give a, a taste of what those interactions with Kathy were like before and after games? She seemed like a woman that would be very make you happy regardless of the outcome. And just the second part, would this be a different outcome if that place was full today and then the crowd was the crowd was going crazy in the way it would have been? Well, well I will tell you, you know, uh, I miss miss everybody at the games. You know, it's just a different kind of environment. Um, but having someone like Kathy, first of all, she's just passionate you know, about Rutgers and about Rutgers basketball and, and Rutgers everything. Um, she's keeping stats. She would, you know, talk to me. She always had a smile on her face. She loved every one of our players. Um, she said she had no favorites. She loved them all. Um, just a really good lady. And, and from my time here, you know, every time you come out, you see her smiling face. Every time the game ended, you know, she was smiling and um, just a true blue you know, you know, Rutgers person. And, uh, you know, again, you know, she will be missed as, as, as the fans and the students and everyone that would pack the rack are missed. Um, 
Uh, yeah, today would have been an unbelievable environment because it was a really good college basketball game. There was a lot of really good players making a lot of really good plays and good, you know, a really good, you know, college basketball game. She would have really enjoyed. We'll go to Richie and then Aaron Bryman. Hey, Steve, I know it might not uh, show up in the box score much, but can you talk a little bit about Dean Reber's performance and how he uh, had to go up against arguably the top big man in the country? Well, I mean, Dean, Dean's been getting better and better in practice. You can see how athletic he is. Um, you know, again, we needed all hands on deck. We still have Cliff, um, you know, not able to uh, play. And so, you know, everyone had to be ready. I mean, um, he's seen every kind of defense. He's, he's a really good post player, and you needed fresh bodies, too, on him because uh, he wears you down in a lot of ways, and he could step out and shoot threes, too. So Dean's been getting better and better, and, and because he has, he's been – practicing better he's you know getting more minutes and um i'm pleased with you know his progress and if we can get cliff back now it gives us another weapon and you know having caleb certainly um experienced guy coming you, you know coming into the game helps us too so we'll work him into the lineup and and uh you know so i can take some of these guys off the court they're playing a lot of minutes and they need blows every now and then Coach wanted to ask about how much Ron Harper uh, Jr. was able to practice before today's game and, and how close he is to full strength. Yeah, I mean, he had a really good practice yesterday. He practiced, you know, um, two days ago, too. So Ron was, uh, Ron was ready, to, ready to go today. We'll go to Zach and then Chris Nowalski. Steve, the last around eight and a half, nine minutes, they scored 30 points. Did did you think that was just – they're obviously a really good team and they executed, or did you think the defense maybe wasn't good enough? Well, I mean, you know, they're a really good basketball team. You know, again, they have a lot of weapons. Um, they scored a lot from the free throw line too, and I tell our guys all the time you can't defend the foul line, um, you know, down the stretch. But, you know, that's what they do. They score in bunches. Um and, and, you know, we, we kind of held them at bay for those bunches. And, and they, you know, down the stretch, um, they got a few. But, you know, they're really good. They're really good. And they have a lot of weapons. They have a lot of weapons and they have a lot of answers. Does, Steve, when you look at kind of the last, when you look at this loss, do you, do you kind of come away with it encouraged? I mean, it was obviously a high-level game. Or do you kind of just look, man, this is a game we really could have won? I mean, you say that about every game, you know, unfortunately in this league, you're not winning every game. You know, I love how our guys play. I love, we make the extra passes. They share the game. They play hard. You know, we we're on to the next obstacle this league brings. you got to have a short memory in this conference. Um, the next game's just as hard. It's harder. We've never won at Michigan state. So, um, you know, uh, you got to move on quickly. I want our guys to, we're one possession short. That's w what it ended up being. We did a lot of really good things, but you got to do a lot more really good things to beat a team like that. And, uh, uh, you know, but but I'm happy, you know, with our guys and uh, we'll continue to get healthy and we'll continue to, you know, work on our rotations and, uh, you know, better days ahead, hopefully. Hey, Coach, I wanted to ask you about Caleb. Um, how do you think he did and, and, and how good was getting him back? And uh, I think there was, there was some rest there with him. Well, you know, you're always going to have that. You know, he hasn't played in a while, and, you know, I'm just thankful. Um, you know, his back is better, and he's feeling better, and he wants to do just whatever he can to help our team. Um, and, you know, to have a player like him um, with a lot of experience, he's kind of a multi-position player, and he'll, as he gets his feet wet, you got to play these games first, and um, you got to get back into games are different. Um, threw him right in against Iowa, you know, one of the best teams in the country, so. Um, I have a lot of faith in him. Very thankful. He's done all the rehab, Rich Campbell, and he's done everything. Um, his back is feeling a lot better. Um, he had been practicing with us on and off and, and, you know, finally came and said, listen, coach, I think, you know, my back is good and let's give this thing a whirl. So it was, you know, good to have him back and, and look forward to him continuing, um, um, you know, to rehab his back and, and, and feel good and uh, continue to help us. We'll go to Jerry and then Bobby. Steve, what was the uh, what was the mood in the locker room? What was your message to these guys? The main message. Yeah, I mean the main message is you know you played you know 
again, the same message I'm telling you. We played the best, one of the best teams in our league, and we're one possession short. So we got to find that one possession. We will. Um, you know, the guys take all losses hard, um, and, and I'm thankful that they do. They really care. It's a real caring locker room, and, you know, we got to continue to just plug through all the obstacles that this league brings you. Steve, quick turnaround at Michigan State. Just talk about your, your message to the guys about that, getting back on it and, 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 you know, preparing for that game. Yeah, we'll start as soon as we leave leave this room, and we'll, you know, have to go to a place that we haven't had a lot of success against the Hall of Fame coach. And, um, you know, we have, to have you know short memories, and, and we'll get better. We'll learn from the tape, but we'll be on to Michigan very shortly here, Michigan State. we got time for two more. Zach or Jerry, you have one more. No, I'm good. Thanks. Thanks. You guys all good? Yeah, thank you. Again, Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you guys so much for being on.